tell us. Again. Ooh. What? What? Uh-oh. Today I will be doing an energy checkup in regards to the twin flame connection. So my cards at the moment, I'm using the True Love reading cards. I haven't used these in a long time. I'm an intuitive reader. I'm a messy reader. And however the cards will fall, I will read wherever my gut tells me to. I'm also a clear audience. There will be a song that will pop in my head while I do this spread. And I will link a video attached to that song. And usually it's to do with either the band, the music, the beat, the artist, or even just the visuals with the video. So hopefully there you might get further divine messages. Please excuse the blower going on in the background amongst the cockatoos. It a is. typical sunny suburban day for everyone in lockdown. Okay, so what do we have? Get that one. Self-respect, love, no, I'll keep going, that one, commitment, I have been feeling a bit of the twin flame energy coming through, yes, it's uh, disappeared for a while but now it's popping up again amongst the divine feminines. There's actually a balance with some of you divine feminines between self-respect and loving another person. There is certain, how we should say, there is obviously boundaries that the divine feminine need to learn in terms of what is right for them, what is their integrity, how much would they put up with in order to love this other person, how much would they put up in terms of being in a relationship with someone that they love. There is that fine balance between the two and it's, the divine feminine that has to work on her shadows to work out is this a divine love is this a love that would actually give me strength moving forward in my soul journey is it still relevant for where i need to go and then there's that commitment card as well the commitment to divine love okay here we go. Tower. <laughs> Again. Ooh. What? What? What is going on? Uh-oh. Another upside down card. Oh, these cards, what's going on? Hermit upside down. Everything's topsy-turvy. Okay, top of the deck. Ah, the drunk card. I'm, I wouldn't, well, I'm not surprised for that. Bottom of the deck. Two of swords. Oh, hang on, do it this way. That card there. This card here. Okay, not surprised, not surprised. Hmm. You're getting drunk. Some shit has hit the fan hard and fast. Your world is upside down. Your security has been destabilized. The Knight of Swords in reverse. You're backing the truck up and the hermit and your costume minds. Okay, this may not be about you. It could be your counterpart. Let's clarify this, okay? Shuffle these cards. What's going on? Oh, oh, messy, messy. Messy. Maybe it's because of the energies for this month. It's a bit cray cray. See, I can't even shuffle the cards. Everything's topsy turvy. Okay. The sun. Riding in the sun naked. Maybe that's when you're drunk. You feel good. But something hits the fan. Something hits the fan. What's going on? What's this tower moment? And what is. Okay. Your security. What is going on? Mm, is this you? Let me work it out. 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, something's something's here. Money. Four of Cups. You're in the shits about something. You're regretting something. Oh, I'm trying to work it out. Something breaks your heart or their heart. I'm going to have to clarify that. Who, who are we talking about here? Something hard and fast that's going to happen. It's going to rock your world. It's going to smash into your world. You're going to have regret. You're going to be holding onto your coin, this secret. You're keeping a secret. Um, you're going to be fighting for the sake of fighting. There's a bit of an aggression going on and um, possibly this uh, immaturity kicking in. Why you guys are immature? And then we've got, no, we've got the two of swords. You're blocking something. What's going on? No, you're not taking those because they're not. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, geez, you're getting drunk with mates. You're getting drunk. Why are you guys intoxicating yourselves? You're blocking your heart. Mm, did someone break your heart lately? Okay, two of wands. Okay, let's let's work it out. Who broke your heart? Who? Who's who? Who? Okay, someone's walking away. This is very similar to my last reading. Feminines, are you mirroring mirroring the divine masculine? Are you busting up your relationship as well? Those who are in current relationships with someone else, with their own karmic. Mm -hmm. You're blocked. Why? Okay, what? What's 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 coming? What's why is your life? Going nuts. Change the world and two of cups. Holy <laughs> shit. <sighs> oh boy. There's changes, major changes happening in your life. Something to do with what's also going around the world. I think, I think, me thinks that you will be hearing from your divine masculine very soon there's going to be a major change there's going to be a partnership that's going to blow your little world up mm. major major change guys and you are burying yourself um you're trying to block your emotions by drinking out of mind, out of sight. I don't want to feel, I don't want to hear. You're freaking out. You're blocking. You're blocking someone coming in and hanging around with mates. You're trying to forget it. You're hanging around with your friends, going out, those who can, leaning on your friends a lot. Trying to ignore that uh, there's someone who is coming in soon, and you are scared of the changing. You're scared of changing your status quo, and it comes back to here. It's about your own self-respect, how much integrity, love, and commitment. This person coming in, how much are you prepared to commit? Is the question. And I think you guys will be in a state of shock because they do come in when you least expect it. And you're going to be struggling to cope with the situation. Let's see if I could get any more cards from here. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, okay, look at this. Because it could happen really fast. It's going to happen fast, guys. <laughs> And you're going to shit your pants. Someone's coming to you. And you're just missing dependence. 
you're in your own little world, little bubble, but someone is coming towards you and it could be a public thing. People are going to find out or they're going to make a public <laughs> announcement. Oh boy, could be even through your social media. They could be posting something where everyone can see what's going down. All right. Mm, okay, let's get out the romance. I knew there was strong energy. I knew there was something edgy going on. I just couldn't work it out. So basically, Divine Feminines, you are in a bit of a panic once this news comes in because it's your least expected. Okay, how do they feel about you? Oh, yeah, finance and career. That's, that's yeah, that's related. But, oh, that could be just related here because you're holding the money. You're keeping the secrets. Yeah, you got to... Um, finances are an issue. I think the finances are an issue because it's going to blow up your world and you might have to move somewhere. You might have to, how you say, yeah, move somewhere else, change career, change your life, basically. And can you afford to do so? That's the question in this current climate. Okay, free yourself. I think that's what's happening for those who are in a current relationship or, or current karmic relationship. Oh, there's going to be a floating around. So my last reading is about the Divine Masculine in this same predicament. Very similar to now what the Divine Feminines are going to be doing moving forward. So uh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening, guys. They're coming towards you. And you better make a decision about who you're going to commit to. I see here. And what... Do you want in the long term, which is important to you? I'm going to pull out the Emirates cards now. Uh, this will be particularly a message to certain folk that might pop up from these cards. So take what resonates and stuff the rest. If you want your own private reading, please see my link below and book a reading through my website, which is mistoro.com. But anyway, let's see what we have here. Okay, Emirates cards. And that was so messy. Okay, what do we have? <laughs> Ooh, too many. Too many. We've got the long distance card again, guys. I'm going to get that one. Gifts. And what's this one? Young female. Oh, that one sneaked out, didn't it? <laughs> I knew this was going to be a triangle. Triangle. Young female. Oh, for the young lasses out there. Um, long distance relationship. Gift. Someone is coming around. Someone is sailing towards you on the boot. It's a triangle relationship. You're going to have to choose. You're going to have to choose which one. And it's particularly for you young female lasses. Not always, not, not generally, but this is those who need to pay a particular attention, okay? For you lucky folk. Should I say lucky or unlucky? Because you guys are freaking out. Okay, what else? I will end in... Okay, I'm going to bring out the inner goddess again. Because you girls are going to need some help. Oh, guys. Okay, what messages? These two. Madeline, and you are the light. Okay, Madeline, what does she say? Basically, it's saying you've got to let go of the past. And I think that's where the death card comes in. Stuff from the past, stuff that you have been putting up with for a while has to be let go. The universe is bringing you something that is more important to you. And yes, something more important to you. 
that you'd have to accept back into your life or accept something new into your life. Uh, you are the light, of course. You are heading through an initiation of actually becoming your higher self. And that's what the world, the, the world card is bringing to you as well. So on that note, guys, changes are happening. Can you stop drinking now? Can you stop taking toxic stuff? Because you need to have a clear head moving forward of what you want to do. I know it's hard. I know you're trying to block your heart. You don't want to go down that road again or you don't want to feel that feeling again. But I think you're going to be right. The universe is there to teach you a lesson, to teach you things in your soul journey that you need to move forward in. Because you have a far greater, you have a far greater role in all of this. And you'll reach your end game for your soul journey. So basically it's telling you to uh, find your boundary and, and your self-respect when it comes to love and your integrity in order for the commitment. Now the earlier card that came out was the Nine of Cups, which means that you are getting yourself drunkenly silly to keep that happy place. But something's going to crash and burn. Something's going to break your heart. There's a moving away. Something's coming in hard and fast. It's going to destable your happy little bubble. And there's some major change that's going to make things switch around. It's going to turn your life upside down. There's going to be a lot of remorse, regret, pondering, etc. You know, you're going to be fighting for the sake of fighting with others. You're keeping a real big secret. Again, it's rushing in. You're getting drunk. And all because someone else is coming into your life. Two of Cups, they're going to come in. They're going to make things public and actually show their intention towards you. Now... That is all freaking you out because you are burying your head in the sand. You're blocking your heart and your mind. Your choice is getting quite hard and you are maybe getting advice from your friends maybe, but I think you are just socialising and trying to forget the issue that's happening. It's going to affect your finance and career. It's going to be a major issue as well when you're making your decision of which way you're going to go. It's about freeing yourself. It's going to be flirting that's going to kick in as well. That's going to cause more confusion. This is specifically for those who are in long distance relationship. Someone's coming in with a gift and you are in a triangular, quadrangular relationship. And particularly a young female is involved. It could also be someone who has a daughter as well. It doesn't necessarily mean it's young female, but whatever resonates with you, go with that. And then we've got the last two cards, Madeline and You Are The Light. So basically it's telling you that there are changes coming in. You've got to let go of what has been toxic in the past, no longer for your higher good. And you've got to continue on and be the light amongst the dark and move forward as divine feminines should be moving forward. Okay, with that, I hope you like my spread. Please leave a like and subscribe and wait for the end of the video for my divine messages with music. And I'll catch you later. Bye. The choice I chose for this week was actually a bit of a silly one. It's by Men at Work, Who Can It Be Now? And it's just highlighting the paranoia of the divine feminine about, you know, someone coming back into their lives and they're thinking, oh, my God, what's going to happen now? But anyway, uh, especially when you're in lockdown, <laughs> imagine that, someone knocking at your door during lockdown. Okay, all right, hope all is well. Catch you next week, guys. Bye for now.